Hi guys, Air Hunter here, and today I'm going to bring you the HW 97K black line with the chrome finish. So, bear with me. I wanted a Springer for myself, and do you remember when I first had the HW 100? I had a Hawk Sidewinder scope, the 30 FFP. Well, that cost me well a lot of money, as you probably know. And it was just sat there doing anything, so I thought, what the hell can I mount this scope to? I didn't want another PCP, because I've got the HW100 and I'm perfectly happy with that. So I went for a Springer and I bought the, as I said, the HW97K. And probably bought it a little bit naively. Um, I watched a lot of reviews and YouTube videos of best Springer in the world. Um, best under lever, best, best brake barrel, um, unbelievably accurate. So I thought, yep, that's the gun for me. And I did like the tactical look. I fancied a change from the Woodstock, which I've got on the HW100. So I went ahead and bought it. Well, quick tip I bought it online. I'm not going to mention the shop, but it was in Newcastle. And I bought it online. And when I bought it online, it said in stock. And then I received a phone call straight afterwards, um, just to, to confirm the order, which was all good. And I was like, great, I'm gonna have it within two to three weeks. And then they rung me back again and said, oh, we've just been down into our stock room and it's not in stock, the one that you've ordered. Now, apparently this is a common thing in sales is to say it's in stock online to get you to buy it. And then Obviously, you've committed, so you end up waiting and whatnot. So, on that note, I went to Skipton Gun Room. Now, I said I'd give these guys a mention. I'm not sponsored by him. I bought the gun. Um, I just said I'd give him a mention because I do go there quite a lot, and they're really friendly, really good guys. And as I walked in, I went in just to fill my bottle up for the HW100 for the PCP to get some air, and I noticed the HW97K on the shelf, which is like half a mile from my house so I was like I didn't even realize you had this in stock so I rung and cancelled the one at Newcastle and bought this one um, around well it's to be a month ago now so I was like yes I've got my I've got my rifle this is great um, and that was, they were fine at Newcastle they were happy for me to get my refund and everything else it was just nice to not have to wait five six seven bloody week or whatever it was to get my um, my Springer so I got it and I'd mounted the Hawk Sidewinder on it and I thought this is awesome, this looks great. I'm going to um I'm gonna shoot loads of stuff for this. And then I got a little bit of a realization. Um in my opinion, <laughs> it is far, far harder and a completely different ball game to shoot in a PCP um is a springer. It in my opinion it requires far more skill. Um, and I put some JSBs through it exact and some um, Diablo field, I think it was. And even at like 20 meters, 25 meters, I was getting quite a bit of a spread. I just weren't happy at all. And I thought, what the hell have I bought? Like, I've spent 500 quid on this gun. I've got a 500 quid scope on it. And I can't bloody shoot the thing. And so, I mean, that was in, in like a sandbag rest, front and rear. So it was completely stable, it wasn't going anywhere. And I struggled and I was annoyed and I almost gave it to a friend and I almost went, I've had enough. I know I'm not loaded by the way, I was just mad. Um, I just almost gave it away because I was so mad that I'd spent this money on this gun and I was terrible with it. So then we we decided to get some, um, some sample pellets and thought, yeah, well, first thing, obvious thing, it, you know, I'd read online that it needs, a, sometimes I need a bit of wearing in, you need to run so many pellets through it to get it consistent and then i ordered some sample pellets and i thought well let's just let's just try the um the, the different types of pellets and just see if it's pellet fussy turns out it's brand new by the way it turns out this particular rifle for me is very pellet fussy so i'm just going to go through a list of what we got and let you know which ones were good and which ones are bad so we tried bisley magnums 4.52 jsb exact heavy Viarac Field Target, RWS Superdome, RWS Powerball, H&N Field Target 4.51 and Air Arms 4.31 and Air Arms 4.52.
Um, some normal JSBs um, went through it as well. It's a 177, by the way. Um, and out of all them pellets we tried, around 30 metres, now bear in mind this was in a, in a sandbag rest front and back, um, the, the best of them that was really accurate was the was the Viarac field target. They were brilliant, really close groups at around 30 metres. And surprisingly to me, RWS Powerball were unbelievably accurate um, at 30 metres. Now, again, that's in a rest. That's not, that's not me just shooting it and um, just moving around and shooting it. And um, <laughs> so I, I'm hope, I'm not a quitter. I will keep going. Um, and I will keep practicing with it, but I need some advice guys because like I think I've spoilt myself starting with a PCP and You can have the um, bipod on it. It's lighter than what this is. I mean this thing is heavy really heavy And so it's not so easy just to fling around and rest on stuff Now obviously other than the normal videos that you see people going around shooting springers I've got a newfound respect for people who hunt with springers because it it is incredibly for me, incredibly more difficult to shoot a Springer than it is my PCP. Um, so I'm just being brutally honest. I and so when when I found out it did shoot accurate, I was back in love with the gun again. But now I've been asked by some, some people, some followers, to do some hunting with Springers. I will do, and I can't wait to do some. But give me some time to practice because again it's a whole different ball game this and I'm completely new to springers so I've got much respect for you guys so those are out there I'm sure there's lots of people that are pros on this subject please give me some advice on do I just walk around with it and try and shoot it off my knee do I get on the floor on a sandbag for hunting um, just any techniques any way to, to shoot the right now I understand you're supposed to let the rifle do the work and not grip it too tight and all that kind of things but any extra tips guys please leave them in the comments um, I could really deal with it because I don't want to feel like I've spent 500 pound on a gun I can't shoot and so I will do hunting videos but it won't be yet because I don't want to injure anything down to my lack of skill with a springer so I'm going to keep practicing target shooting moving around and stuff like that but obviously with your help that bit that'd be, that'd be great too um, and then when I do get you know way more competent with it then i'll start doing some hunting videos but as it stands now i do need more practice so if you are if you are thinking of buying a springer and you're new to it it's a lot harder than a pcp and it's going to be a lot harder to hunt with it um in my in my personal opinion um but i'll show you anyway um because i do love it i love the look of it and um it's not really a it's not really a video is it if i don't show you what i've got Let's put that down there guys so here it is and i got the um i've got a i've got a harness on it or a strap whatever you want to call it and that's my hawk sidewinder 30 ffp on top of that and um again flip it. i do love it i love the gun it just weighs a ton and it's going to be fun or maybe even testing trying to get good with this thing so yeah wish me luck and uh, hopefully I can bring you guys a uh, fan of springers some good video soon but don't, I'm not gonna rush again I do believe it's a harder skill to master than a PCP so on that note keep a lookout for the videos but it won't be it will be soon I'm gonna keep practicing hopefully I can bring you a video of me doing some target shooting and in, in between that time, like I say, you can give me the advice I need to help me um, be a better spring rifle hunter. Because um, I've got a feeling it's not going to be so easy. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.